I recently uploaded a video on how you can compare registered user with attendee user to determine number of absentees. Those are purely on string, but someone had inquired if I can use the same technique for dates as well. Well, this is how you do it. Uh, I have uh, two columns here. Column B is your original date. Column C is your committed date. And column D is the missing date between column B and C. So the first function I'm going to use, I'm going to use is called count if. And in there, I'm going to see if the committed date uh, actually uh, count the number of committed date that exists on the original date like this all the way down here and close parenthesis and hit enter so what that does is that it counts let's say for example if this exists how many times on this column here like that so it does all the way down and you can see some of them exist twice here but we are not actually concerned about dates that exist between column c and column b but we are more interested on date that does not exist because we're looking for missing dates here so basically what we're going to do is that we're going to reverse this by putting a not like that and hit enter and you can see that these dates are missing on original dates compared to committed date now all we have to do is to apply filter and the first argument on the filter will be the original date itself like this comma and the second argument will be the not count if and then close parenthesis for filter and hit enter it will show you a series of weird number 44,578 this means it's number of days since 1st January 1900 so basically it is correct this is the date since then that day so all you have to do here is you get to select all your missing date press ctrl 1 on your keyboard and then basically change that format to date and click ok and you'll get dates that are missing in committed date compared to original date